hungry, they'll have somewhere to sleep and eat now. Yeah, they won't be bothering the nowhere. For a while. Yeah, they said the $25,000 bond, and uh, I don't think he can even draw welfare. I run him off from up here. I told him he'd, he'd to ask me one morning, knocked on my door at 6 o'clock. And I went to the door, I said, what do you want? He says, I don't have my medicine. I left it over at my friend's house. He said, I was wondering if you could take me over there and get it. I said, over where? And he says, over off of 23rd Street. I said, south of the river? He said, yeah. I said, I don't go over there at 12 noon, much less 6 o'clock in the morning, period. <laughs> now, you don't leave your medicine at 23rd Street. No. and think it's a different kind of medicine. Yeah. Yeah, Lenore called me once with some Tylenol or something all the time for her pain, and she'll say, I'll send somebody up here. I said, don't you send that clown up here anymore, because I'm going to knock him off the front porch. Couldn't read it. 
pages of what he pulled the book, get black tape off because the number the uh, reader come off too. Feared he'd have some black tape around. That's what he used on that van that I did the check engine light. <laughs> he needs to put that black tape away. Hey, son-in-law down there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I told him take a picture of it next time. You take a picture of the, of the color and the formula, and, and then you've got it, you know? Well, if he's like the paint bridges of yours, just take them down there and give them to him. Tell them when you find what I got on, let me know. That's how I get the customers to pick a color. Just see something you like. W two C S I. You a painter, Charlie? You not here. Charlie, somebody out at you. No, I'm not hearing him. Call for Charlie WSLB. It was Chuck out here in North Carolina, W2 CSI. I was asking if he was a painter. Oh, a CSI out in uh, North Carolina there, Charlie. Okay, I'm not hearing him yet this morning. He's not hearing you, Char or, uh, Chuck. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the relay. I'm hearing both of you guys great, so I didn't know. Roger, no problem. I guess I better jump out of here. You guys have a great day, uh, W2 CSI 7-3. Okay, Chuck, yeah, you're really up and down on me, man. I'm only catching about every other word, buddy. Sorry, man. Alright, uh, Chuck, you have a good day back here in North Carolina and enjoy it. W zero B.
about your tax-free school supplies this weekend, Charlie? No, not yet. You better get to stepping. Yeah, I'll do that this afternoon.
I was wondering where you'd been. I told him I hadn't heard you this week or I hadn't talked to you, so I thought maybe you had a car show. I was at a car show yesterday, but I'm almost embarrassed to tell that story, but uh, I had messed with this thing for a while, and I thought, man, this, there ain't nobody talking, and I hit the mic, and that thing automatically tuned, and voila, you guys were there.
power the crops to. You know, uh, I mean, uh, with all the rain we had, and everything, everything's kind of surviving that. Um, time will tell now. We're just a few months away from everything.